So we're in Hanover with uh, Ken Casey from the Drop Picks for the show tonight. I'll just ask you a few questions. Excited to be here. Cool. <laughs> so how did this first show go to tour with Noel? You were the, the front man. Oh yeah, uh, you know, believe it or not, in 16 years, never had to do that. Um, but between rehearsal and writing a lot of songs, I guess it just kind of just was really easy. I mean, we're so lucky, just the fans are so good and it's not, it's so much of a crowd participation thing that um, they don't care. We always joke in the band that like really no one's, you know, maybe long term, but like on an, any given night, like we can make it work. Yeah. You know, we've now mad our drummer's the only guy that's never missed a show. So um, I'm going to break his wrist or something <laughs> coming up, but Tim is an excellent guitar, I mean drummer, so we could even probably oh, yeah. pull that off. So. Um, it went good. I wouldn't, you know, I like what I do and I think Al's great, um, but uh, Croatia, they'd never even seen us before. Half of them probably didn't even know Al was gone. <laughs> so it was alright. Great, great. So yeah, now we've seen a few clips on, online there. And it seemed to go down well. Yeah, they were, when they weren't busy trying to set the club on fire. <laughs> I've seen that too, yeah. <laughs> I guess there's no fire marshal in Croatia. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a good show. You know, anytime you go someplace for the first time, and especially in a lot of the, you know, eastern countries that might not get as many shows, yeah. they're just just that much more pumped up you know oh, yes, they yeah. haven't had four bands already there this week you know so yeah. i actually also went to a hockey game too and the atmosphere there was like unbelievable bang and drum it was like rowdy uh, you know, it was like take a soccer crowd football crowd and yeah. and because the nature of hockey i think probably being a little bit more of a you know fast-paced sport it was like amp that amp that up that's what it seemed like it was really cool to a Bruins game, it was a bit different. Yeah, I don't even want to go back and watch. I mean, I love watching professional hockey, but it's yeah. just a different, different animal. It was more all about just the audience participation than it was even watching the game. The other team scored, and no one even went, Oh, they just kept beating <laughs> drums and singing, you know. Great, great. So, a new album this year, yeah. We uh, we record uh, in May, April, May, and uh, release it in September. So we got 15 songs already, and we're just, you know, spending time between sound check and, um, you know, like acoustic in the rooms, kind of trying to tighten it up, and, yep. um, and then we'll keep doing that through St. Patty's Day, and then we'll take a couple weeks after St. Patrick's Day to really like go in the yep. rehearsal space and nail it down tight, and then we'll record. It's pretty good in the sense that we've never, I don't think we've really ever had the, all these songs written this far in advance to keep yep. working out the nuances before a record, you know, so. Okay. But I think after taking as much time off as we did between Meanest the Times and Going Out in Style, when we finished Going Out in Style, we were like, oh, the creative juices are still, we were still ready to keep writing, so yeah. we just kind of did, you know. Great. Um, any album title or anything? No, like? not there yet. No. no. And every time I do that, I get fired up on an idea and yeah. I say it and then I change my mind, <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll wait on that. And will you have any Songs covers? Songs are good, though. Um, as of right now, um, we, I, we, were, we were doing something, uh, a song just kind of as a tribute to Ronnie Drew, a song of his, okay. a solo song called We Had It All. Yeah. I don't know if we'll put it on the album or not, but we've kind of arranged it and been doing it. And um, He was just such a great guy and such a good influence on us and just yeah. a good person that um, we felt like after he sang on our record and passed away, we never really got to, Yeah. I don't know if you want to say have closure on it or do something yeah. to you know, say something back and a thank you. So um, yeah, so that's something that we'd like to do. It's a great song. and. Um, Hopefully, hopefully that develops. Like yeah. you know, it's a, it's like kind of a kind of a piano thing, and we're trying to give it a little bit different swing than he did it. Yeah. You know, but yeah. um, it's it's amazing. What a voice, you know. How how did it go with the recording with him? Did he did he oh. like the finished product or? He loved it. He was an easy. I've never you know I said, Ronnie, what do we do with a guy like you? Should I send yeah. you a limo? He said, <laughs> I'll take the train. You know, and uh, <laughs> I came in and smoking and telling stories, and yeah. and you know we were in Dublin when we did it, and we got into the. Um, studio and of course you know when we had Shane McGowan in years ago I had to be bad cop and be like yeah Shane can you do it one more time you really <laughs> didn't sing one word right you know <laughs> you're shit faced but um and so he was like who is this guy you know and and so I was intimidated to have to be in that role with Ronnie Drew and I he got into the studio behind the mic and of course he'd never sang to anything that fast with yeah, a drum yeah. beat and um I'm behind the board and I said um you know just let me you know listen to it once take a pass and let me know what you need or whatever. And he was like, Kenny, I'll sing it a thousand times till I get it the way you want it. And I was like, right. holy shit, yeah. man. 
what a great guy, what a great attitude. And of course, he got it on the second take, you know? Great. So he just like once was just to kind of hear the speed and to get his headphones right and he just yeah. bam, nailed it, you know? Great. So, true professional. Any guest appearances new album? Or is it all over we, after the boss? Well, it's hard, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to, I, we, we've, we've got a, f we've got an offer to someone who is one of the few people in my mind that, um, could compare with the boss, but I'm not going to say who it is because when it doesn't happen, it's going to be like, oh, they didn't get him, you know? Okay. But it's very, it's been very cool to think about all the people we've got to collaborate, and it does oh, kind of yeah. keep that whole, like, who's next, who's next, yeah. you know, like, I don't know, maybe nobody, but I guess if there was ever a place to to just cut it out, yeah. <laughs> it would be the boss, you know. Great, no, that was a good, it's a good version he did. It was, it was very good. It yeah. was, it's good to hear. Him. Um, you've done a lot of traditional Irish songs on albums. Who in the band chooses the song? Is it together you, you choose a song, or I think probably me? Because it's just always been the song, you know, kind of the favorites. It's never like a what would be good for the band or what would people yeah. like. It's kind of just like. You know, something yep. fun to do, you know, and as as we go on, it gets harder, though, because you don't want to do, I mean, the Irish Rover was like, we sweated over that, like, oh, man, how do you top the Pogues and the dub one is, and we just like, well, it's not about topping it, yep. but a lot of times, uh, you know, if other bands have, like, laid claim to a song, you don't want to do it yep. and stuff, you know, um, but um, we just couldn't resist the Irish Rover because it's just so much fun, especially, like, we really like the songs where we can all get involved with the singing and just keep it moving fast paced yeah. but um yeah i guess it'd just be you know all the songs that i knew and loved as a kid you know that we just always wondered from the start of the band how would this sound in our version you know yeah. and um and then obviously now a lot of the fans give requests too and a lot of times they're right on the money with what i was thinking anyway yeah. you know so it's pretty cool has there been any you've you've tried you've wanted to do and they just mm -hmm. haven't sounded um, the way you'd, you'd hoped or like it's a great question I don't know if we have. I think I think I think by the time I've brought something to the table, I've always kind of had an idea of like I know this is going to work. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think so. I don't think we've had any that we haven't. You know? Yeah. Already know when it does. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. as we get down the line along, we're going to hit that sometimes. Yeah. But I think I think there's already the like the mindset of how it's going to go before we bring it in. You know? Yeah. And there's there's so many bands now playing this Celtic influence punk do you keep up to date or what's going on or I have you, a hard what do you time. think of it? I have a hard time keeping up to date with music in general I get you know three kids who only ever want to listen to God knows what you know um, and uh, and I'm listening to sports radio <laughs> from home but uh, um, yeah I mean it's like anything there's um, you know there's bands that I that we've toured with that I think do it great the Mahones the Tosses Bible Code Sundays, um, you know, obviously you're <coughs> flogging mollies and stuff, and I'm yeah. Pogues, but um, um, none of us would, route, would be doing it without the Pogues yeah. influence, you know, I mean, yeah. I just think back to when I was in my early teens, and, you know, I knew every Irish song just from the, the background I was raised in, and like, just the environment, and, um, but I, as much as I knew it, and I kind of liked it, I still thought of it as, like, an older generation's music and then the Bogues came on and like made it for me as a teenager you know and um, bridged that gap between like the punk rock world I was in and, and you know growing up in like an Irish family and stuff so um, really just um, you know I'm just trying to think I mean Real Mackenzie's even though it's more of a like Scottish kind of vibe but um, you know there's just a lot of bands that do it well um, um, Band from Germany who uh, we're actually playing with. I can't remember. Hey, no, cut, cut. <laughs> um.